Uh, um, I was just doing some phone witnessing, sharing a scripture. Do you have a minute? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, well, this scripture is in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Um, want me to just read it to you? Sure. Okay. It says, um, Paul is saying, And when I, and I, when I came to you, brothers, did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech or wisdom, for I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. So um, I was just wondering about the good news of Jehovah's Witnesses because um, I asked some of them about it, and um, that's not what they said. Okay. Well, you know, um, um, what did they say? Um, they said it was something about 1914 and um, Jesus came was present or something and um, the kingdom would, would bring, like, the new world. Okay, well, um, you know, the Bible shows that Jesus is God's son and he's Jehovah's appointed king. So, um, as such, yes, Jesus is, his sacrifice paved the way for many things. Saved, they didn't mention his sacrifice at all. Sin and death. Yeah, yeah, they didn't mention that, that at all. They didn't mention that, actually. Oh, well, you know, that's what the Bible says. Paul didn't say he preached Jesus about 1914 or, or Jesus making a new well, world and, you know, everything like that. Well, you know. There'll be a new heavens and a new earth in which, uh -huh. wherein dwelleth righteousness, right? And that's that's the new world that we pray for. Jesus taught us to pray, let your kingdom come, let your will take place in, on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah, and one verse so, he said also, really this is the will of God that you believe in him whom he sent. Now, also, yes, Paul, we even, certainly do that. Mm -hmm. Paul even defined... We certainly do believe in the one who... Mm -hmm. Paul even defined the, what the gospel is in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. He said, um, this is the good news I preached, which you received, and by which you are being saved. He said, for I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. He said, that is the good news. That is the gospel. That is. Yeah, right. they didn't they did never and have mentioned that when I asked them, what is the good news? And, you know, Galatians chapter 1 warns of a different good news. Have you ever read that passage? So, so you know, we try to appeal to people to, to read the Bible. And really, the Bible's pretty long. It's got a lot of great stuff in it, and including the good news. And we do believe, definitely, that. But we don't limit everything we say to just a couple of scriptures. You know, because, well, Paul said he preached. He was determined to know nothing among them except Christ and Him crucified. So in other words, he, he. But he quoted from the other scriptures extensively. Yeah. So so. Are you saying that we we shouldn't consider the rest of the scriptures? No, but when I and, specifically and no, few things no, of course said? not. But when I ask them what is the good okay. news, they, that's not the answer they give. You know, and in Galatians one, Paul said, "I marvel that you are turning away so soon from Him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel." Then he says a few more verses down. But even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be accursed. And so, you know, that is a different gospel. I don't see anything similar to what Paul preached and said was the gospel when they when I asked them what is the good news, you know. So I, I just wanted to share that. Well, there you know there are other very important Bible truths that we must recognize. In fact, Jesus Himself, who um, you know is the Son of God, uh, when He taught His followers to pray, uh, He said, "Pray this way." Um, 
Do you guys pray that way? Do you guys pray that way? Yes. We, do you say? Do you call God Jesus, Father or do you, when you pray, or do you say, "Dear Jehovah"? He, why didn't Jesus say, well, we "Pray this way"? Say, "Dear Jehovah." Well, he said, "Father, hallowed be Thy name." Did he ever he did address God, God as Jehovah? Well, you know, right before he died, he he prayed to his father and he said, um, "I have made Your name known to them and will make it known." So. Um, he obviously placed great importance on God's name. Do you think name and, sometimes means something else in the Bible besides a specific series of letters? Like just mean all that a person it, is, yeah. his reputation, his character. Jesus it, it is the image of the invisible God, and that's how he made God known. A lot of times in the Old Testament, really saying the name of somebody, it really just is a different way of saying him. You know, bless the Lord, well, O oh my soul, worship is, his holy name. In, they didn't worship a series of in, letters. In the, old, in the Old Testament, though, did you know that the, the divine name appears 7,000 times? Sure, I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh huh. But in many Bibles, they've replaced that with another word. Yeah, a signification, or, just like Jehovah is a signification. So it, you know. It's not as a personal name, Jehovah is a personal name. It's his name. Yeah, we, we know about the Tetragrammaton. It's a signification. And, and we know it signifies his name. I, I love Bibles that yeah. say Jehovah or Yahweh, but not in yeah, the New sure. Testament. That's a different That's a different situation altogether. Well, now, now, when Jesus quoted from the scriptures and used, um, and, and, and quoted a scripture that contained the divine name, what did he say? You think that he, he used the same custom of others and replaced that name with Lord or God, or do you think he actually so used the divine name? Uh, he used uh, Kyrios. Yeah. And Kyrios, what was used in the Bible that uh, he quoted most often, the Septuagint, Kyrios was used for the Tetragrammaton. So, um, you know what's really interesting about that? Um, all the other Bibles on your website do not use the Tetragrammaton or Jehovah in the New Testament, except for the New World Translation. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? But those those do use the divine name somewhere. Mm, I didn't check that out. I'm not even sure about that. Did you know also they don't yeah, uh, they don't have John like 1 King 1? James, for example. Yeah, it does a few times. Like the, the King James. And that's great the King James because does. we know it's in the Old Testament. But have, did, have you read the truth truth and translation? Uh, yeah, Jesus yeah. I looked up who he was and the kind of uh, places that he speaks at and teaches at. Uh, he's very cagey about his own views, and he speaks at a lot of uh, so-called churches. Yes, yes. He speaks at a lot of so-called churches that are called. Uh, are, are you a, uh, are you a former Jehovah's Witness? No, no. I'm just interested in theology, but um, yeah, because he's he was at least teaching at where two of our kids went to at Northern Arizona University, so I was able to find out a lot about him. He's what you would call a theological okay. liberal. He doesn't really have many Christian okay. beliefs. I don't I don't know why he's so interested in that, but um, anyways, well, well, I just, he, uh, his comments on John one one were quite good. Uh huh. Uh huh. But it's interesting it's they post Bibles on JW.org because everybody's always telling other people, go to JW.org, go to JW.org. I mean, essentially, you believe yeah. those Bibles are corrupted. Well. Why would you have them on JW.org then? Well, perhaps the, uh, they did use the divine name at least a couple of times. You know, that's better than nothing. No, I'm talking about they're promoting the, you know, that it was removed and everything like that. I mean, Jason Badoon doesn't even believe in putting Jehovah in the New Testament. <clears throat> What's that now? Jason Badoon doesn't believe the word Jehovah belongs in the New Testament. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, you brought him true. up, so. Okay. Well, yeah, I just wanted to talk well, to you about the gospel. You know, I mean, the, the real gospel is so much better than what Jehovah's Witnesses teach about this, like, system Russell invented to, to be on trial well, forever. I, I don't agree with that. I mean, oh, that's, I do. That's simply not so. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, it, I'm sure you must be affiliated with some religious organization. <clears throat> um, are they politically active? 
do they do politics? Oh, no, they don't even let do they, people talk about voting, you know, have a stand about who you're voting yeah. for. No, they don't, we don't. Most religions do. That's know? not true. Most religions do. I don't think so. Not most um, Protestant not Christians. Not Protestant Christians. I mean, we could talk about it on our own, of course. Yeah. But. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. A guy I work with goes to a Baptist church. They have 2,000 mm-hmm. people that go there. They, they tell them who to vote for. At least he says they do. So, <laughs> well, sure. Some might. I don't. Some might. You know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a free country. Nobody can no. um, control everybody. So, yeah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah, you know. The thing is, is really, really it's Satan's world that's going down the tubes. So why, why um, um, get, choose a ruler who's not chosen by God? Well, personally, I, I'm i getting burned out on that whole You're scene, too. To- <laughs> I don't, I don't, I think to me, I kind of agree. I mean, I don't agree. Satan runs the whole world. I don't think the the word world the has. The world is lying in the power <clears throat> of the wicked one. Well, the world, yeah, the, that, that means the uh, mankind. The, the it world means the mankind. fallen, the fallen world without yeah. Christ and without being yeah. the ones yeah, not born right. again and following Jesus. Um, but yeah, I I start I'm starting to think they're all the same, you know. Like I did vote for somebody in the past, and they just act like all the rest of them, you know. So um, yeah, I mean, but I don't agree. Satan runs the world, really. I think um, God has always been in control, and He has a plan. I don't think it's the divine plan of the ages that Russell talked about. He was wrong on so many things. Um, but anyway, hey, um, thanks for letting me share that. The real gospel is so good. Jesus, what he has done for us is sufficient. The Watchtower is not God's only channel of truth. They've been wrong, you know, consistently over their history. Well, um, the Bible is, though. I you agree. Know, and, I agree. And, yeah. They, they have been willing to admit when they're wrong. Uh, not really. Not really. They said that everything they teach comes from Jehovah. They still say that. Did you know that? So, you well, know, that's. Because it comes from the Bible. No, their interpretations do not come from I, the Bible. I think you're. I think you're. Yeah, you just don't know. You don't know. Have you ever checked out the history um, from other sources? Their true history, like Wikipedia, has a fairly exhaustive, you know, uh, rundown on the yeah. history. They give reference for everything yeah. they talk about. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of it's lies, and or or enough of a truth to to kind of make a point, but really overall. I, I don't agree. I find it very I, reliable, actually. I, they well, give references to their own publications. Yeah. That's how you do real serious research. Yeah. You don't, like, read a history. Like, if I was going to learn about the Romans or, well, you know, the Egyptian pharaohs did that all the time. They rewrite their history. They take out the bad stuff or spin it. You go to the original right. sources as much as possible, not just the biased source, which is trying to uh, maintain its uh, veneer of reliability or something like that. So you can check them for yourself, you know, check check it out sometime. I, you're allowed to read Wikipedia, right? I've done some reading, certainly. Oh, good. But, you know, this organization is, uh, is, is applying uh, what the Bible teaches more than any that I've ever seen. Oh, I think there's really wonderful... So- Sound biblical. You know, you don't churches. really think about it. You know, if you if you go to battle, if you go to in the army and you go to battle, <clears and> you <throat> fight people in another country. You won't be fighting Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, you know, there's other groups that are pacifists so. also. So, Who? did you, uh, Mennonites, Amish, Seventh Day Adventists? There's actually a really cool. Mo- much. There's really a cool movie about. It's called Hacksaw Ridge. About a Seventh Day Adventist guy who wouldn't. No, I remember that. Did you watch it? I know what you're talking. About. Oh, that was so I, interesting. I didn't watch the movie, but I'm aware of. Yeah, the yeah. yeah. Do you... and, and and yet and yet um <clears throat> um um that's just you know we believe that soon God will intervene in man's affairs and all the governments will be gone. Yeah, they predicted that for 1914. They predicted the end of all governments. <clears throat> for 1914. Well, yeah, they weren't correct about that. Date, yeah, they but, said, God, Russell said they were God's dates. Well, 
1914 was a significant day. No, they reinterpreted it after the after 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 it failed. They just reinterpreted it as being invisible. I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Well, after his predictions did not happen in 1914, at some point they just reinterpreted it as being an invisible event, like saying something vague, like the end of the Gentile times. In 1914 yeah. itself, they were preaching that Jesus had already been present since 1874. Yeah. You've studied this quite a bit. Yeah, it's so interesting. That's why it surprises me that you were you were never um, associated. Oh with yeah, I just like to learn about religion, and I went to Bible college, and you know it's just an interest of mine. So plus, I like to share the gospel with you all because their system is so burdensome and legalistic and oppressive, and they're they're considered a high control group. Did you know that? They're considered a yeah. high control group. Yeah. By who? Well, one person is Stephen Hassan, H A S S A N. He was a Mooney. <laughs> so he knew like the kind of methods they use, like information yeah. control, behavior control. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't believe that at all. It's oh, ridiculous. it's it's yeah. it's believed by I, many. Well, you, I'm sure I'm sure that, that people said the same thing about early Christians, you know, but really I mean any organization has standards of conduct that we that we should abide by. And so um, um, that is not control. A lot of people that were witnesses t testify, and they all say the same thing. So it's not just a made up thing. They said the first time they looked at outside research, they almost felt sick to their stomach. Like they literally almost felt like sweaty and sick because uh, well, the organization says, stick with what we have authorized, you'll be safe. Implying that there's danger in information. There, that's, I, I, that's simply not true. And I've, Anthony I've Morris said it on the broadcast. Life, and I know. Anthony, I, that's ridiculous. Anthony Morris said that, it on the broadcast. That is so stupid. I, I'm going to hang up. He said, stick. Hello? 